Hello, I'm Dr. Alan Chu. I'm an assistant professor and the chair of Sport, Exercise, and Performance Psychology at the University of Wisconsin, Green Bay. I'm also a certified mental performance consultant. Motivation is the drive to succeed or to achieve goals. A lot of time we say we want to have really high motivation, but based on self-determination theory, high motivation may not always be good because it's not just the quantity of motivation, but also it's the quality of motivation. Self-determination theory by DC and Ryan propose three main types of motivation. Intrinsic motivation, extrinsic motivation, and a motivation, meaning a lack of motivation. So we know that High intrinsic motivation is good, but then high extrinsic motivation and high motivation are not as good. Because intrinsic motivation is based on interest and enjoyment that really want to achieve something. And that's how we have self-determination. So how do we motivate athletes and performers to have high intrinsic motivation? DC and Ryan would say, no, we don't. We actually create a good environment for athletes and performers to motivate themselves. How do we do that? is through autonomy, competence, and relatedness, and they are called basic psychological needs. DC and Ryan propose that when we give people some choices, that's the autonomy, they are more likely to have high intrinsic motivation. So we can provide athletes and performers with choices, acknowledge their feelings, and their input. And then the second need, competence. We can satisfy athletes and performers' competence by giving them positive and constructive feedback, as well as focus on the process, not the outcome, in order for them to be more intrinsically motivated. So whenever they improve, whenever they put out effort into practice, we praise them, rather than praising them on winning. And then the last psychological need, relatedness. We can satisfy athletes' need by creating an environment that athletes and performers work with one another and then we also try to understand their feelings and emotions and giving them unconditional regard in order to satisfy the relatedness for them to be motivated. Uh, to summarize, if we want athletes and performers to be intrinsically motivated, we have to satisfy their autonomy, competence and relatedness.